Hello, welcome to this Computer Weekly video. I'm Brian Glick, I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Computer Weekly. In this video, uh, we're looking at how organisations can improve their software testing. Uh, and in particular, we're looking at a case study how one company, the cable TV and telecoms group, uh, Virgin Media, has gone about doing so. Uh, to help me to do that, I'm joined by Bob Randall. Um, Bob is the Environments and Test Transformation Lead at Virgin Media. Bob, thanks very much for coming along and, and joining us. Um, now, you've obviously been through a process where, where you have tackled some issues that you had uh, uh, around software testing. Um, perhaps we could start by you know, going back to where you were and tell us a little bit about the, the, the problems and the requirements that you had. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, we, uh, we've got a, a number of uh, test environments across both the media, the mobile and the digital entertainment space. And uh, a lot of complexity, as you might imagine, um, in that. So we were finding that we were continually having to build new environmental components uh, or, or fix problematic parts of the environments. Um, and, and that was holding up the progress of our projects and delaying our ability to get uh, our products to market. So that was really um, one of the key issues that, that we were facing. So you know, you, you, you identified uh, that you had some particular problems. Uh, how, how did you go about meeting those challenges? Sure. So um, using HP's service virtualization software, uh, we were able to create virtualized copies of problematic components in our test environments that you know would often fail and and, uh, and would delay projects. Uh, we're also able to address issues around contention for resources. So. Uh, some components in our, in our environments are in high demand. So rather than building additional copies, we were able to virtualize those using this technology um, and so satisfy the demands of our, of our projects. Now, you, you've touched on this already, but um, perhaps you could just tell us a little bit more about um, some of the, the tools and the technologies that you used to help you improve your software testing. So, yes, I mean, it's, it's just one of the tools in, in, in the toolbox. Um, you know, I think we've been on um, a bit of a journey over the last few years. We, uh, we've been working with a major outsource partner. We've transformed the way that we approach testing in Virgin Media. Um, we've introduced a, a number of tools, uh, some from HP. So, for example, um, HP's Quality Center. It's a great way of controlling uh, testing from you know right at the start through to the eventual delivery of the code. So, yeah, a number of different tools uh, and also processes. So ensuring that we've got um, you know a consistent way that to approach um, our, our creation of requirements and then testing uh, and, uh, and and the gathering of results. So, yeah, having been through through this process, can you perhaps tell us a little bit about some of the the benefits that you've managed to achieve as a result? Uh, certainly, um, uh, the speed of delivery, um, reduced costs, greatly reduced costs. Um, we, um, I think we've had a year now without a single test miss, priority one call. Um, so a great result and, and you know, lots and lots of products uh, have, have been tested over that period of time. So it's been good. So you know, where, where, do you, where do you go from here then? You know, so software and software testing clearly is a, an important part of the way you do business. What, what are you going to be able to do better or do differently in the future as a result of what you've done so far? So if we, if we think about service virtualization, um, some of the challenges that we face are around the, the, the complex nature of, um, of what we have to deliver. Um, a good example, I suppose, is... Um, something we're working on at the moment, where we've got a lot of back-end infrastructure that has to play a part in, a, in an overall solution, um, but isn't in itself the subject of any testing, just needs to be there. Um, it's in constant use by other parts of the business, so um, our decision has been, okay, we're going to virtualize all of that, and that's everything from um, you know, consumer equipment that would sit, so your set-top box that speaks to our network, um, the databases in between, right up to the web service that um, queries um, all of those components. We can virtualize all of that um, quickly and, and solve the problem that way. Okay. Um, I'm sure 
you know, a lot of other IT managers perhaps watching this video probably recognise a lot of the, the problems that, that, that you described um, and are looking to um, you know, improve their testing and get some of the benefits that, that you've talked about. From what you've been through, if there was one piece of advice you'd give to one of your peers who's just about to embark on a, a similar sort of process of improvement, what, what do you think that might be? Um, I suppose it's more than one piece of advice. I, I, I would say, well, f first of all, try and be ambitious because um, you know, we looked at this technology from a, purely from a testing perspective, um, but we recognised quickly after installing products and starting to use it that there are other parts of the business that could also benefit from this. So be ambitious in terms of you know, how, you should, how you should scope the, um, the, the use of the software within the organisation. And the, and the other one, I suppose, is uh, to think creatively about how you use it. It's one of those technologies where once you've built it, um, you, you can think of other uses for it. And you know, a good one that, we, um, uh, that we've been considering for a while now is in, in use, um, to use it in training scenarios. Mm -hmm. So um, contact centre staff, we can simulate all the back-end systems that they are going to have to deal with not only can we simulate how they work, we can simulate the amount of time it takes to get a response from system A or system B. Uh, so they get a more realistic experience of what, what it's going to be like uh, before they actually sit down for the first day uh, and do the job. So you know, th those types of things, you know, think, think creatively about other ways in which you could use this technology. Okay, that's great advice. Bob Randall from Virgin Media, thanks very much for coming on, joining us and sharing your experiences of how you've gone about improving software testing in your organisation. Um, that's all we've got time for on this video now. I hope you've been able to uh, uh, pick up some useful advice and best practice from the experience at, at Virgin Media that might help you improving your software testing processes. Thanks very much for watching.